devil fruits are mystical fruits with enormous power. These fruits play a huge role in One Piece and are also central to the overall storyline of the series. Introduced in the very first chapter, devil fruits are known to have great strength and whoever eats them acquires a specific ability at the expense of their ability to swim. Broadly speaking, devil fruits can be divided into three types, namely the zones which allow users to transform into animals, the loja types which give the power to transform into a force of nature and the elements, and the types paramecia which have different types of ability grant. Devil fruits are undoubtedly a huge part of One Piece and their importance will only increase as the story gets closer to the end. In the current One Piece arc, set on Egghead Island, thanks to Dr. Vegapunk, many of the mysteries fans have been looking for answers have been solved. A lot of the mystery of the Devil Fruit has also been revealed to fans recently, and it certainly answers a lot of questions fans have about these fruits. The Emergence of the Devil Fruit Devil fruits are very mysterious items. Since the beginning of the story, fans have wondered about the origin of these fruits and where exactly they come from. The very first instance of these fruits being introduced to fans was when Luffy ate his gum gum fruit in the very first chapter of the series. As the story progressed, more and more details about these fruits were revealed to fans, and over time, Oda made sure to post information about how these fruits work. For example, during the Anai's lobby arc through CP9, Oda revealed that no one could eat more than one devil fruit because the devil in their body would not allow it and the person would literally explode or cease to exist. <laughs> Later, Marineford fans saw Blackbeard steal Whitebeard's devil fruit and Oda realized that the powers of these fruits could be transferred from one user to another. Later, in Punk Hazard, the birth of a devil fruit was first observed with the Sarasara no Mai model axolotl. In Dressrosa, the rebirth cycle of these fruits has been explained to fans and now, in the Egghead Island arc, Oda has finally revealed the answer to how these devil fruits spawned. According to Dr. Vegapunk, devil fruits are created by imagination or desire for something. Throughout history, countless people have wished for certain powers. For example, there were people who wished to have the power to control fire or the power to control ice. These desires manifested as devil fruits at some point in the history of the One Piece world. Exactly how this happened is still unknown, but this information is already huge for One Piece fans. According to Vegapunk, every devil fruit is simply an opportunity for human evolution. He goes on to say that all the devil fruits in existence are the many branches of human evolution. Whatever these forces are, ultimately they are still very unnatural and against the laws of nature. Because devil fruit consumers can't swim. It has been established since the beginning of history that users of devil fruit cannot swim. By eating these devil fruits, people gain enormous amounts of strength depending on the type of fruit they eat. But they also lose something, and that is their ability to swim. For pirates who have lived their entire lives on the high seas, losing this ability is a big deal. In most cases, however, the powers they gain are definitely worth it, and so most people choose to eat devil fruits anyway. Vegapunk also explained why devil fruit users can't swim. In his view, as explained earlier, the devil fruit is a possibility of human evolution through desire. As such, he refers to them as an unnatural path for evolution. Obviously, this is against the laws of nature, and the sea, which is one of the manifestations of Mother Nature, hates devil fruit users for this. Therefore, devil fruit users cannot swim in a nest of nature itself. Dr. Vegapunk goes on to call devil fruit users sinners in the eyes of Mother Nature herself, claiming that not knowing how to swim is a fitting punishment for those who break the law. Yet many questions about devil fruits remain a mystery. It is unclear exactly how people's cravings manifest in these devil fruits, whether or not these fruits have always existed, and which fruit was the very first to exist. Over time, these questions will surely be answered. For now, however, fans have already discovered a lot of information to build on in the next chapters of the story. Undoubtedly, the Egghead Island arc has proven to be nothing short of phenomenal when it comes to lore and information dumping in the One Piece story. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and support my channel.